So Kieran, you're here at our Learning Disability Rugby League training session tonight. Uh, you've been handing out some certificates after they, they played at Anfield earlier in the year. Uh, how great is this concept first off for the, for the club? Oh, it's absolutely fantastic um, you know, to, to see the smiles on the face tonight and, and the enjoyment it brings and you know, fantastic opportunities that it's allowing them all to, to go to places like Anfield and play rugby and you know, enjoy the sport. It, it's really, you know, it, it touches on your heartstrings and, it, and it's fantastic for the people involved and, and, and it's great to watch it as well. Yeah, and you mentioned the pride in, in their faces when the, you're handing over certificates. Are you proud as well, you know, to be here and share that moment with them? Certainly am, yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's great and you can just see the enjoyment and how much they love it in the face. And you know, you, You're giving them a, a certificate that they, they, they feel like they've earned it and they, they've worked really hard for it. And just to, you know, It's all about enjoyment. Our sport is about enjoyment and, and no one enjoys it more than these guys behind me who are training at the moment. And just on to the, the first team, obviously a disappointing result on Sunday. Have you personally had some time to reflect on that loss now? Yeah, we have. Uh, you know, um, probably my thoughts haven't changed much from the, the initial thoughts after the game. That you know, certainly uh, the first 30 minutes we, we were way off the pace, and then we give ourselves a bit of a chance to get back in it. Uh, just before half time, then after half time we, we fell away again. And, uh, we you know we know as a group that it's not acceptable, and uh, we have to get some consistency in our performances because at the moment we've got none. We're good one week, and then the, the next week we're. We're not even average, we're, we're dropping way below our standards. And that consistency is very important for us as a, as a group of players and consistency within the game as well. You know, we, we do, even in the game at the weekend, there were a couple of points there where we were really, really good and scored some nice tries, but then straight away we're not backing it up with consistent behaviour. So uh, that's certainly something we're going to have to address this week. And you know, we've got a couple of tough games coming up and they, they don't get much tougher than Toronto. You mentioned the Toronto at the weekend. Given that we played them back in round four and a lot has happened since that day, is there anything you can take from that performance or, or that day? Uh, no, you know, again, we, we played at Newcastle and the you know, performance weren't work particularly great that, that game. Uh, you know, Toronto were very good that day, they came out the, you know, out the blocks, uh, started the game really, really quick and big and physical and you know, that's something we're going to have to get ready for, for this week. And, uh, you know, our, our forwards have got a really big job on their hands to maintain their pack. You know, they're, they're a quality team. They, they, they studied, you know, stars everywhere across the team for, from 1 to 17. So you know, we have to be the best we can be uh, and we have to be consistent. And we we'll certainly have to play for 80 minutes. Given the, their position in the league table and, and how well they're performing, does that, in a way, take a bit of pressure off the lads? Because a, a lot of people are, are expecting them to come here and, and, and be strong and, and be a tough opponent. Yeah, I think it will. You know, it's it's one of those games where we're not probably going in as the favourites. You know, Toronto. Uh, you know, every every team they play in, in this in the championship, they go in as favourites to uh, to win that game, and, and the position on the table probably backs that up as well. So there, there's no real pressure on us to to get the win. What's more important for us is to make sure we get some individual performances and a team performance there for us to build on for the next few games coming. And if we get them performances and we put uh, individual performances together, then we've got a chance of winning. And if we do that, then uh, you know, we, we've got plenty of positives to take in the following weeks to come. There's plenty of action off the field as well going on on Sunday. We've, we've got a, a British themed event and the, we're trying to get as many fans down here to, to support the lads as possible. How important is it that we, we get big numbers down here and, and we get some support for the boys on the stands? Well, it's massively important for us. Um, you know, when we went through administration, it was, it was the fans that, that pulled us through it. Um, and again, we talk about consistency on the field and we've not really had, had that. The one consistency this club has, has had every single week is the support from the you know, the fans turning up and, and backing us and being really vocal. And you know, once again we, we you know we ask them to turn up again and support us and, and get behind us and give us that extra push to, to hopefully get the win against Toronto. 